How's it going guys? 30 day experiment of disconnecting home internet is over. So it's uh, October the 1st. Now, what I'm gonna say, <laughs> I, uh, this, this experiment was tough because you gotta understand I'm coming from like, I don't know, maybe like 10 years of like being on the internet almost every single day, right? Um, you know, there might be a few days here and there where I just didn't have access to the internet, so I didn't go on the internet. So like 10 years of like consistent internet use. Now I will say for the first three weeks, I was actually, I was really good about it because there's still internet in the house, so I had to be more disciplined about not doing it. So for the first three weeks, did a very good job. I think I only went on the internet maybe like two or three times and it was only for like one or two minutes each time, right? And for the last week, <laughs> totally lost track, totally lost track on the, uh, on the experiment, which is totally cool. But during those first three weeks, I learned so much about how much time I really kind of like waste on the internet. Because what I noticed was how much more stuff that I was really able to get done. So I finally finished my recipe book. I, f I put a new, uh, I put a free video course out. So I did that all while I wasn't, you know, on the internet, on the home internet, right? So what I would do instead of going on the home internet, I'd walk up to the library um, or I'd go to a Starbucks and I'd just jump on the internet there and do my work on there. The main thing that I really noticed is that when I was at the library, uh, when I was on the internet, I was so much more focused, right? I was just like, I would make a list of everything that I wanted to do. So I'd be like, you know what, I want to upload a video, I want to do this edit on my website or whatever. I want to do that while I'm there. So I'm just, I just write it down and then I just knock everything off the list. So my time on the internet is just so much more directed and focused towards um, things that are just kind of more important to me, right? So it's kind of funny when you don't, when you have all this extra time, it's kind of like, I would actually just kind of sit around sometimes and just start thinking about stuff. I'd start getting ideas and I'd just kind of, um, I'd just kind of be a little bit more creative with things, right? Because I wouldn't always constantly be using um, internet, Instagram, email as a distraction away from actually thinking about what's going on. Because sometimes when we're feeling bored or maybe we feel a negative emotion in some type of way, we'll use the internet. We'll just use some idle internet web surfing so we don't have to feel that way or just to kind of distract ourselves. So that's what I really kind of noticed with doing this experiment. So I think I'm gonna still, I, I'm, I still wanna get on, get on board with it because I just feel how powerful it is. I think what's really important is that you need to have um, an idea of stuff that you really kind of wanna work on and it's like, because if you don't have anything to work on, you're just going to kind of, um, you're gonna kind of gravitate towards things that are going to distract you. So you might wanna turn on the TV. Um, but to really, truly do this experiment, I think that actually cutting off your home internet would be like the best because then you have no way of like, kind of like failing on it. So maybe something that I was just thinking this morning that would actually be kind of cool is uh, say you do have own home internet and you're locked into like a th into like a three year plan or something like that, is to take your modem, disconnect it, and then give it to a friend and be like, don't give it back to me until the first of the next month, right? And just try it out. And then, you know, try to find where you can still go on the internet because going on the internet is still kind of fun, right? There's still so much that you can learn and explore on the internet. Um, and a lot of people are like, they're addicted to YouTube. So I'm gonna do a little video talking about um, how you can kind of make your time a little bit more focused on YouTube. But doing this experiment and trying it out for 30 days is really kind of eye-opening. I only made it about 20, 21 days before I really just kind of caved in. But that's being human, that's being normal. It's fine to, um, it's fine to not be 100% perfect because that's what makes us human, right? <laughs> So I learned a lot from this experiment and it's something that I want to uh, I want to keep doing and keep kind of moving myself towards is staying off the internet as much as uh, as much as possible at home. Awesome. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Peace out.